Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Period Woodworker here. This is our second video in this Walnut Gerstner chest. I wanted to show you, before I took started, started taking things apart, I wanted to show you some of the damage that we talked about uh, the last time we got together. If you'll remember, I just bought this chest. I have several other Gerstners, but I didn't have one this large or really I didn't have one in this good of quality because I've always bought used chests and I don't buy the new ones very often. This is, I'll show you, let me take this out, you can see but this is a W82, which means it's a Model 82, and the W indicates walnut. Gerstner and Sons, uh, Dayton, Ohio. This is their numbered chest, 123. The 123, uh, if you have chests of your own or if you look at one, you will notice that as they build them, they will put that same number, 123, will be on the bottom of every or the back of every one of these drawers and then the drawers are measured. Uh, uh, shows a detention, attention to detail and that they um, actually hand fit these drawers as they put them together. The W82 is the same width if you look at height and width as the uh, W or as the 92 that they currently still make. Uh, the only difference is this is not as deep. These have the uh, traditional, it's a 10 inch uh, width or depth on it. And the W92 is the only Gerstner chest that's a foot deep. It has uh, uh, that extra several inches to it for storing larger tools and, and such. Again, here's the one, two, three, and this is drawer number 12. So let me get this back in and I'll show you what I came here to show you, which was some of the damage that was done to this. A lot of it's not bad, but uh, it did let me get this chest for a uh, excellent price. First off, we've got on the chest itself, it's got a couple of scratches that you can see here. I probably will do some refinish on those. If you come on down and you take a look at the edge of the door, you can see that it's got a couple little pry marks, probably where they took something like a screwdriver and pried in there and tried to pry that door open while the, while the case was locked. Uh, you can see the matching uh, marks right here where they've done that. Again, this isn't it isn't that bad. I don't know if I will will do anything to it or not. The bottom chest you can see that it also had an attempt to pry it open right here. That's not too bad. Um, then there's a little pry right. I don't know if they really tried it right there, but uh, it's a little bit of damage. Then here is the uh, the bottom of the door. A couple little nicks where they uh, where they had tried to pry. The bad part now is the compartment that, that held this little drawer or door or whatever it is. This is the damage that they did to this locked door. And you can see it's pretty substantial. They really pried heavily on it. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they stuck a screwdriver or something in here and tried to pry this door 
But I tell you, I guess it's a testament to the quality of the Gerstner locks. They were never able to get it open. You can see the lock in there. And when I first got this, it was like this. And I was able to get it open just enough with a little bit of force to put a, a hacksaw blade in there. And I saw it back and forth about 20 minutes and I managed to cut through the lock bar or hasp or whatever you call that part of the lock and uh, the door came right open. The damage over on this side is not that bad. The hole that the lock goes in is fine. So I'll take these out and I'll show you this. You can see that that's just a small strip of walnut glued to the secondary wood. So I'm going to cut that off. It's too bad to try to replace. It would really look hacked up. And uh, I'll be real careful and chisel this out of this little dado. Now I'll replace that piece of walnut. I'll order a new lock and replace it. And the door, I haven't decided about the door. From the outside you can see no damage. So, if I took this and cut this at a 45 degree angle and cut off all that, I probably would just hand plane it. And regardless of what I do, I probably will try that first. And if I get that off, then I could glue a nice sliver of wood on there and uh, then plane it off so it's flush and, and matches and, and uh, put some uh, finish on it. If that works fine, then that's probably what I'll do because that would allow the rest of the finish to continue to match. If not, then this will be relatively easy to replace this door. It just has like a little piano hinge in here and I'll take that door off and replace it. So as for the rest of it, uh, the, the case is in excellent shape, very little use, all of the hardware is good, it's still shiny, uh, the feet are good, the feet on the case itself and this riser case. It really is an excellent chest on a, on a W82 that they no longer make. You can't buy this. You can buy the, uh, the model that's equal to the 52, which is a little smaller, uh, or the 92, which is this size, but it's deeper. And uh, if you get that and the riser and a walnut brand new, you're talking several thousand dollars, close to $3,000. I got this for much less than than that and I mean it was almost a steal as long as I can put up with some of these little scratches and things and my others have some scratches so the next time I come back I'll uh, I'll take this stuff off we'll start working on it and we'll, we'll replace the uh, the damage section to this door and uh, oh let me show you one other thing before you go this has the old style, it came with some old style dividers. And these are the kind that have, if I can get it to focus, the little bullet catch in the end. And you can't buy these anymore. You have to buy ones where it has a rack that goes on the front and back and they slide down in, in shelves. These, the reason that these are so nice, is you can take these, put that bullet catch in, push it in, and then put that in there, and that's, it's in there for the long haul. It's not going to go anywhere. Makes nice dividers. So what I may do, and I may make this part of this video, 
I may just make me some strips of walnut. Anybody with a little wood shop can make strips of walnut. And buy a couple of bullet catches. And make some more of these because I love these things. And it makes it very easy to divide your drawers. You could even come to some of the bigger drawers and custom make something that would fit these larger drawers. So uh, I had considered buying one of the divider kits. But I like the idea of making these bullet kits ones better because they're much more functional. It's a shame they quit making that, but they did. So, All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining me for this second Gerstner video. We'll finish up with the last one and uh, uh, do these repairs. And I hope you come back and see me. Thanks for joining me. Period Woodworker here. So long.